it is time for a journey. Time for the quest to end all quests. That's right, I'm starting Polaris. And I have no idea what to expect. Because I haven't watched any videos on it. And I haven't played this game in a long time. And I'm really lost, but... I'm gonna do it. We're gonna talk to Merle Lambros. And we're gonna turn the dialogue on so we can actually hear what he's saying. I must tell you, we were all concerned for your safety. Okay. Now tell me what happened. Do not spare any details. Well, uh, Morganth tried to kill me, and it's all your fault, basically. Morganth is gone. Oh, yeah, and, and I understand I, I there was no other way. Yeah. We must learn all we can from her story, so future tragedies may be averted. That's some good advice. Oh, this news of old Cobb is troubling. But we shall just have to wait and see what tomorrow brings. New uh -huh. adventures for us all. Ooh, what's that? Ah, there you are. Garbage. Today I mean... is an auspicious day. Yeah, it's garbage. Most auspicious. Auspicious? What does that mean? Matter that is long overdue. Vocab yes, word alert. I remember when you first set out for Unicorn Way. Bright-eyed <laughs> and brimming over with potential. Oh, yeah. Seems like just yesterday. Yeah, I've become a much worse wizard, I know. Of course, much has happened since then. The troubles oh. with Malister and Morganth. We've had you traipsing all over the spiral. <laughs> yes, you've it, done it looks all like that he was has expected and an more. as a pet the because like the person is all is in a agreement. Motive. It's time for your oh, official graduation from Ravenwood. What? No. It'll be quite an affair. Oh, <laughs> Don't delay now. I'm Mr. graduating. Mr. you in the Cabinet of Wonders. He will prepare oh, for the ceremony. I don't, I don't feel comfortable with this. I can't leave Ravenwood. This is like my home. What the? Was this always a room? No. This is cool. Ah. Uh, what the heck is my guy doing? Is this a tapestry? I don't know, it's not doing anything, so... Hello there, young wizard! Don't you know my You're name by now, as Jeez, I, am. Dude. I can barely keep my reading glasses perched okay. on my bill! Okay. Such a landmark occasion! It's not every day we have a graduation ceremony at Ravenwood! In fact, I can't recall the last time it happened! I've had a cap and gown fitted just for you! Thanks, Very dude. elegant, I think! Put them on and step into the tapestry to reach no. the ceremony grounds. I have to and wear Mr. That. Ambrose wants this day to be extra special. Many distinguished oh. guests have come oh, to boy. congratulate you. Let's not keep them waiting. The gown is made from rich. Oh, that's mirror, disgusting. <laughs> giving it a fine depth and soft luster sheen. What the, the heck? The cap is quite stately. What is this? Actually, it's kind of swag. Look at that. Ooh, man. I'm gonna stitch that. Can you? Oh, there we go. There, we, there it's a tapestry. The grounds of Ravenwood are decorated like never before. Colorful banners are everywhere, and yeah. a colorful array of guests as well. It is yeah, indeed a colorful. most festive occasion, and to think it's all in your honor. This is actually... This feels pretty legit right now, like, this feels like the end of the game. I know it's not, but this is kind of a sad moment right here. And a happy moment at the same time. Welcome, wizard. It is my distinct pleasure to call you before Great Bartleby this day, to recognize your remarkable list of accomplishments. Yeah, like the time you got me killed, and the time... It you got me killed. You have not been again. with us at Ravenwood yeah, for fun. very long. Yet you have had a profound impact on the school. Indeed, oh, profound. all of the esteemed guests you. who have gathered here today are familiar Get on with, your with the speech. mind, your heroic spirit, and noble virtue. And they didn't do anything to help me though. They just they just gave me quests because they were too lazy, like none more so that's than all this your game distinguished is. teacher. <laughs> I mean come Professor on, Merle Ambrose. Cyrus like, Drake. You can still walk, right? My, my. Oh, this Look dude. At you. Get out of here, Cyrus Drake. I saw a toddler in oversized robes. Yet, 
Headmaster Ambrose knew you had a special a toddler and oversized rose. When I look at you, I see like an egg. I'm sorry, but you just look like an egg, like a he encouraged a rotting me to egg. Test it, nurture it, yeah, make it you're gonna fire shots at me. I'm gonna fire them back. That's what happens. The spiral for my family cannot be overstated. You are a remarkable wizard. And oh, one thank I am you. tremendously I, I think... proud of. Okay. Keep your mind open to the wonders of myth that are still to be discovered. You know what? I take back what I said about you looking like a rotting egg. You're just an egg. Wizard, you've been more than an exemplary student. Oh, I know. You've been an inspiration. Yes. And on a personal note, you've become a dependable friend. I, I wouldn't go that far, but okay. And so, without further ado, <laughs> I hereby pronounce you a graduate of the Ravenwood School yeah, of Magic. With there honors, we go. Even. With honors, even. This is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I, I worked really hard for this. You guys did nothing to help. <laughs> what is going on here? Are you going to sneeze? Oh dear. Well, that was certainly unexpected. And did you see Bartleby? I've never seen him quite so frightened. I have. Hmm. When and he saw your face. Professor oh. Wu inside the world tree. Okay. Perhaps you should go and ask if she needs assistance. Fine. Uh, you can discover the meaning of this. I'll be in my office. Yeah, of course you will, Mario Ambrose. Of course you will. No help. <laughs> okay, Melinda, what you want? Goodness gracious, what happened? It looks like that chill wind has made Bartleby sick. But how could that be? Okay. Bartleby's been standing here strong and healthy ever mm -hmm. since... Well, ever since the dawn of time. To see him sick, it worries me. I am ashamed to say, I don't even know what ails him. Oh, Maybe no. Bartleby himself knows what's wrong. Would you be a dear and go ask him? Yes, I will ask the tree what's wrong with him. I hope he's not dying. Like, I will save this dude's life. If he's dying. I will talk to a tree now. Mm. Hold. Such a cold wind. It looks pretty sunny though. Kills one right down to the root. From whence did it come though? That is the cause for concern. A far Oh, oh I get it. Thank you. Oh, well, yeah. Tell Ambrose, there is trouble where land meets the sky. Yes. Where land Ambrose. meets the sky. Oh, there he goes. He ran off. Like, now's not a good time to run off because Bartleby's dying over here and you just decide to go back to your office. I mean, uh, at least show some love for Bartleby. That's all I ask. Merlin Ambrose, what you want? I mean, how can you... Okay, uh, not yes. talking. Uh, Bartleby is sick. Yeah, Bartleby is sick, like dude. This has ever happened. It's quite disturbing. Yes, it it's is. Chilling, even. That wind. What did Bartleby say, though? Hmm. Where okay. land meets the sky. That sounds vaguely familiar. Okay. Perhaps something to do with Polaris. Oh, I, I, I would have never guessed. Polaris is one of the worlds that old Cobb mentioned, is it not? Oh, Is it dear. actually? Yes, we need to look into this. Did they mention it in Winter Tusk? We should ask Professor Drake. Cyrus. Of yeah, course. Cyrus Drake. He I love that some guy. Some time in Polaris. Me and Cyrus. Go get ask if Bartleby's well. words make any I'll sense to him. Yeah, Cyrus Drake is my reason. I regret picking that. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I don't actually have anything against this guy, but... He does definitely have something against me. Illuminati. Myth is... You see that symbol? You see the myth symbol? symbol? That is Illuminati, like... Jeez. Hmm, back for more applause. 
I'm all clapped out, I'm afraid. Or is this something more serious? No. It's Bartleby, isn't it? No, it's not. It's not. Sick. How unexpected. Hmm. Where land meets the sky. Yes, that is a yes, I know why that. it would make Bartleby ill. I have uh, you're no, no help, Sir Strake. You should Perhaps just get out of here. Baba it's Yaga's a Baba Yaga. Wait, what? But why it would make Bartleby ill, I have no idea. Okay, Baba, Baba Yaga. Yaga's a bit of a recluse. Hard to find. But she has a henchman, a former circus strongman, dubiously named Ivan the Great. I think I know Take that guy. the spiral oh, door no, to Polaris. <laughs> It leads to the capital, Walrusburg. Ask around for Ivan. Ask Grit. around for Hopefully Ivan. he can lead you to Baba I Yaga. will do that. I'll do that next episode, I think. Because this was longer than I expected, and I want to, like, start Polaris at the start of a new episode, so... I'll see you guys next episode. Um, leave a like if you anything. I know this episode was kind of bad because I didn't do anything except talk to people, but next episode should be a bit more entertaining. So I'll see you guys there, and I'm signing out. Peace.